There's humor everywhere. How many pet lovers? We have pets out there, people love your pets. I love, I have three labs, my wife's the dog trainer, three labs, a cat and four exotic birds. Now, how many cat lovers are out there? See, I think, I love cats. Cats are the coolest animals on the face of the planet. You know why? Because every cat on the planet, watch them, you'll start your day off in a great mood. Cats, I don't care where they live, have a New York attitude. Watch the way they walk, they destroy it. Hey, how you doing? All right, hey. <laughs> I'm serious. If cats could talk, they go, meow, meow, bada bing, meow. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. They always have that attitude, how you doing? Dogs are the complete opposite. I love my labs, but they are the most neurotic animals on the face of the planet. Dogs always have that stupid, guilty look on their face, even if they didn't do it. You know, you come home and you go, who made this mess? Oh God, it must have been me. I'm so sorry I was walking. It came out, apparently I'm not well. <laughs> and the cat's hanging out in the living room going, what a moron. Jeez, what is your problem? I did it and you take the blame. <laughs> and I have exotic birds. I love my birds. I have an African gray. Do yourself a favor. Tonight, tomorrow, whenever you want to, go online. Look up African gray. It will tell you it is the smartest animal on the planet. Beats out chimpanzees now, dogs, and dolphins. We weaned this bird since it was a baby. It has an incredible vocabulary. It'll talk like me to get my wife's attention. It'll talk like my wife to get my attention. Just the other day, she was on her perch in the kitchen. She went to get off to go for a walk, and she's walking in the kitchen. One of the dogs are in the way, and she goes, Wally, move, I said now. The dog goes, geez, what the heck? <laughs> and as the dog is walking away, the bird's looking at him going, good boy, good boy. <laughs> I'm not making this up. It has a sense of humor. It sits on its perch in the kitchen and beckons to all three dogs. Molly, Jesse, Brandy, dinner's ready. And the dogs are running around the house looking for their food. <laughs> and they look up at the bird and the bird's looking at them going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> These are the things I take with me. These are the things that can put you in a great mood. That's how you get through the day. I remember this stuff as when I'm on the road. Another thing that can put you in a great mood every day, do something nice for somebody. Do something nice for somebody. There's nothing that can bounce you back to enjoy the day than that. If you're walking through town, for example, and you see a parking summons, summons on someone's windshield, just walk over to it, rip that sucker up, and throw it away. <laughs> Why should that person have to pay for that? And you'll feel so much better. All these things that I am telling you is giving you a different thought process, a different focus to look at life from a different perspective. Scientists are all in agreement today that our lives move in the direction of our most dominant thoughts and what we focus on day in and day out. Not only do our lives move in the direction of what we focus on and what we think about, but those very things that we're thinking about and focusing on are moving closer to us. In other words, people, the more you focus on your lack, the more of that you're going to get back. 